not strong. You're on your own. Oh God. Oof, take a break, Matt. God won't stand by. You I know what God's love is, and that's why I'm peaceful and happy where I'm at, because I know what God's love is. God did not create people to hate. God is about love. A California store owner is dead because she displayed a pride flag outside of her store. This morning, authorities in California are investigating what they say could be a hate crime. A California store owner in Lake Arrowhead, a mountain community east of L.A., was shot and killed, allegedly by a man who took issue with a pride flag hanging in her store. The news rattled myself and our entire community. I screamed, Lori's been shot. Close your door, he might still be out there. And I said, oh my gosh, is she okay? She said, no, I think they're saying she's been killed. An ally killed for putting a pride flag outside of their store? Weeks later, I came across this. The Westboro Baptist Church was planning to protest her death. I had seen all of the documentaries. Phelps and his followers believe God punishes America for tolerating homosexuals. And I knew that the hate that they spewed was dangerous and despicable. They repeatedly picket soldiers' funerals, carrying signs like, thank God for dead soldiers. How was the small town of Lake Arrowhead going to handle that? I knew that I needed to go to counteract some of the hate with love. I wanted to pay my respects to Lori, and also to see how the town was handling everything, both the death and the planned protests. As I drove up the mountain, I guess it really started to hit me what I was actually doing. Were there going to be more allies in the town, or was I entering an area that wouldn't be accepting of me? I guess only time would tell. I'm here buying a bouquet because I'm going to bring it to Lori or the shop, you know, Lori's shop. Of course. Because the Westboro Baptist Church is going yes. today to protest, yes. so I want to like counteract that. Do you mind if I turn the camera on you or not? No. You don't mind? Or you... No, I do not. Okay, okay, sorry. You know, I question whether you're one of them or not. Really? Wait, can you can you can't tell no, that I'm gay? I don't know. You can't no. tell them. Oh wait, you can watch. You can. I can go to my channel. Like, well, I'm questioning whether you're one of them or not. No, no, no. I do a whole I do a whole um, series on the queer community. So I go all around the country, okay. talking to different people. Is that your mission? That is. That's what yeah, I'm really pursuing yeah. right now. Yeah, I've been doing it for the past two years. All right. Thank Here's you very girl. much. It's beautiful. Yes. Oh yeah. my gosh, it is stunning. Good. And you do this in like five minutes. <laughs> wow. It's what we do. Gorgeous. Yeah. I really appreciate yeah. it. Thank you so much. So go check out. We've got Timberline down there, which is a great little shop, and the lake house is right down the stairs from it. So. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Have a nice day. Okay, yeah, both you of too. you. Thank you. Thank you. I worked hard for them. <laughs> you do have pretty legs. I told I, I, told I, I work hard for them. I work out. Yeah, you look at <laughs> it. You are fit. I work out, too, and mine is shape-wise. Oh, okay, but I got so many spots all you over mine. great. We're closing out three because they're going to be there. Do you mind if I film you or not? On all of mine. We need to really think about our safety, the community's safety, and by closing, I feel like that's the best. Because we're not here to fight, and we're not going to fight. They're here to, to be violent. That's why. We wouldn't be shutting our doors if they weren't violent. We would not do that. But because we know this group, and they've been in, in existence for a very long time, that's the only reason why they're a very violent group. Very violent. They're not afraid to go to jail. They're not afraid to be arrested. That's why we're closing our doors today at 3. And the whole town knows about it, right? Yes. They're coming at 3 o'clock? 3.30. Stop through here because we wanted, somebody had mentioned something. Right. Happened. What was the town's reaction to the shooting and what happened? Devastation. Devastation because as, as Americans, we have the right to speak. But yet it's looking like we don't. What brings you up here? I'm actually filming a documentary because of the whole Westboro Baptist Church thing that's going on. You are. Yeah. Really intense and really sad. Really sad for our community. We have learned from it all that we've got a lot of support up here. Yeah. So, do you mind if I turn the camera on you? No, I'd rather not. Well, no, I appreciate that. No, no, it's not on you. What's your me. name? Matt Cullen. Nice to meet nice you. To know you. Nice to I'm meet you. I'm glad you're doing something. Thank you. I was starting to realize that nobody felt safe being on camera. Do you want to be filmed or not? No, not. Can I be on camera or not? I prefer not to be on camera. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how wacky these wipers are. Oh, do you mind if I film you or not? I never want to film without consent. <laughs> the only thing that makes me nervous is we don't know if there's more crazies up here. I don't know if there's more of like the guy that shot her. It makes me a little nervous. And do I become the next target? <sighs> this feels 
really heavy here. There's like a really heavy energy. I think the thing that is affecting me the most and what I've learned from, you know, speaking to the people in the town is that people are scared to support us now. People are scared to be allies because they're afraid that they'll be next. It's such a scary time that we live in that putting a pride flag outside of your business could result in what it resulted in. I reparked my car and decided to go pay my respects to Lori before any of the madness happened. I couldn't shake the death out of my mind, leaving behind her husband and nine children. Oh my gosh. Her husband had boarded up the shop for the day as to not give the protesters anything to protest in front of. You know, the death inevitably made me think of my parents, who are loud and proud about their gay son and about being allies just like Lori. What if the wrong person came in their path? Would their story look the same as Lori's? I tried to shake the thought from my head. It was 3 p.m. and the bus was supposed to arrive by 3.30. One by one, cars pulled out and left the area. I could feel the energy shift on the town strip. It was just me and the undercover cops that were placed around. One who drove all the way from Northern California to come show support. So you're just here making sure everything is safe, or? Yeah. There's a couple. There's a couple of you, right? That are. Yeah. There's. This, this is appalling what they're doing. So do what I can. We waited and we waited, and with every bus I saw, I thought the moment had come, but it wasn't them. Finally, I saw a little white minivan pull up, and I could feel it in my gut. That's them. I had seen so many documentaries on this group, but seeing them in the flesh was really quite shocking. There's five of them. There was fewer of them than I had anticipated, and it made me wonder how many had woken up and realized the incomparable hate that they were spreading and left from the church. Oh my god. When the cop told them that they couldn't park on the premises, they gladly obliged. They seemed so unthreatening that, that I almost forgot what they were here to do. That is, until I saw their signs. Wow. Oh my god, this gives me chills. Now that dooms nations is getting lost in the shadow. Okay. That dooms nations. Oh my god. Oof, take a break, Matt. God's throne. You're on your own. God won't stand by you. He will destroy. People really like this? Unbelievable. You have no idea what God's love actually is. We're crying to Sodom and America. God loves everybody. You have no fucking Yeah, love. you only show up when somebody freaking dies because you want to instill fucking hate. It's immoral to judge morality. Think about that. You guys are doing it by doing what you're doing. And so are you. No, I'm not. You're a hypocrite. No, I'm not. I'm We're not out there protesting stupid shit like this. What the love of God was, you'd be I know what God's love you. is, and that's why I'm peaceful and happy where I'm at because I know what God's love is. I don't have to preach hate to preach God's love. Well, right. look at that eagle. Good luck for you. Look at that beautiful eagle. Yep. I saw a group of people walking towards us in what looked to be costumes. How are you guys? Counter pro counter protesting? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. I love it. What did your sign say? The sequels. Oh, mine is uh, the sequels weren't that bad. Uh, cause I don't think the sequels were that bad. And then, uh, this Jacob. This Krusty Krab is unfair. Cause yeah. Mr. Krabs is a square. He's yeah. not giving us the fair wages we need. You guys live in, in Ar like Arrowhead? Yeah, uh, well, some of us live in Crestline, but yeah, yeah, yeah. What has this all been like with the community trying to, that's what my, do I'm filming a documentary about like how the community is handling the death and this, and what's it all yeah. been like for you? Well, it's uh, been super supportive recently. Like a lot of the community just like recognizing how bad it is and trying yeah. to show their support. Well, they're like, I know like the brewery had their whole thing with like making one dedicated to her and then like money going towards stuff for like her funeral and stuff like that. Yeah. We had everybody like reposting and we have that when they're coming to school, we have like, we're gonna make out with our friends in front of them. Hell yes. <laughs> I love that. Okay, good. Yeah. It makes me happy to see like young, the younger generation fighting back, you know, and, yeah. and that's amazing. It's important. Yeah. 
How about you? What do you think? It's been a little difficult, but I think that everybody's been very supportive. Like, everybody up here is very, like, understanding, and we all, like, share, like, a home together. Like, it's mm -hmm. more of, like, a family unit as a whole on the mountain. Mm. So, when something like that happens, it kind of brings us down a little bit, but I think that the support around us, like, each one of these people, my great friends, like, they're there, and I have even more friends that are hella supportive. Like, I'm non-binary and bisexual, oh, cool. so I mean, like, I felt a little unsafe when it happened, but I know that they got my back and all my other friends got my back. So that's why we're here. You know, spread positivity, it. even though, you know, they're being what? negative. Sure. Like, they yeah. don't deserve the time of day. Why would we give it to them? So we'll just have a good time. You know? I love it. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, it's good to see you guys, like, actually outside. But the thing that, the thing that catches me off guard that I just can't make make sense to me is you're standing here because nobody aborted you. Oh. And then you're advocating for something that the whole reason why you exist is because nobody Christy did it to you. Yeah. Are you a local? God did not create Mr. people to hate. God is about love. Right? Mr. Krabs is square. And I am a best Mr. Krabs is square. I mean, you're talking about existence, yes. Yeah. But right here, what we're doing right here. You wouldn't, be, you wouldn't be here unless it was for a heterosexual couple having sex. You're kind of a waste of air, honestly. Like, be, but, no, so, because you have no other facts, so you call me a waste of air. Well, because no, I'm right and you can't refute facts. Uh, you're a waste of my air, but the problem is... Because you, you can't refute facts. Because you're not giving something that makes any sense. You're saying that we're you're here because here, our parents had sex? You're only here because of heterosexual couples. So. Okay, well, I thank my parents for that. My son's here because I adopted him and I'm a, a same-sex couple. So that's nice for him because his parents were junkies. That you may, What you're saying is, isn't valid for this situation. Okay. Are you a local? Are you? I'm just here for reporting. Well, you asked me a question, so I asked you, are you local? Uh, that's, I'm not the story here. You guys are. Everyone oh. else is here. Because I'm asking... Okay, so if you're not willing to a answer questions that you're asking people, then don't ask people questions. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a local reporter. So you're locally from around here? Mm-hmm. Cool. Are you? I love that area up here. It's nice. That's beautiful. Did you come from far? Today? Ah, we'll find out. Have a good day. Yeah, it was interesting to say the least. Yeah, thank for the thing. Have a good day, guys. Thank you. <sighs> to be honest, I was relieved to be leaving. What the Westboro Baptist Church lacks in numbers, they make up for in hate and in adding fire to an already grieving town. Her passing, probably, if she had a preference as to how she was going to pass, she did it doing what she loved. She supported LGBTQ during the blizzard. She gave away food to people that were homeless. She takes care of the homeless. She takes care of the animal shelter. She's a big, a big loss for our community. We've learned that there's lots of support here. That's the good part. That is, that there's beauty in that for sure. Yes. As I drove down the mountain, I thought of all of you. I know so many of you are allies to the community and you watch my channel to learn and to grow. I thank all of you who stand loud and proud next to us because, because we need you now more than ever. We will never forget your name, Lori. Thank you for being so unafraid to support us. May you rest in peace.